Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Vera Harman, and I am an addiction physician working out of Toronto, Canada. So welcome, and I hope you find something useful. So here I have a slide that I like to show kind of to illustrate what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, I found this on the internet, I don't know, a number of years ago, and I thought, is this real? And I thought, well, it doesn't really matter. It's actually uh, introducing an interesting point that I want to make. So, and I actually think it could be real. Swiss docs prove blackjack casino gambling, best cure for cocaine users. Blackjack helps. A team of top psychologists in Switzerland have discovered that gambling at a casino blackjack table will significantly lower relapse and decrease usage amongst cocaine and crack addicts. This is a new and unconventional treatment program curtailing cocaine and crack addiction that is much more pleasant and has a higher success rate than 28 day rehabs like the place that I work at or 12 step programs. Oh my God. So is that true? Uh, well, a lot of people will say, yeah, you know, it's true. But, you know, what are we talking about here? Aren't we talking about just substitution, um, uh, substituting one drug for another? I'm using, uh, uh, instead of cocaine, I'm using the drug of gambling, which is not a drug, it's a behavior, but it's enhancing the dopamine. So yes, it's it would work. And, uh, you know, why would we do something like that? I often say, it, what, could it be possible? And I, I hope I convince people to say that, yes, it could be. And then I ask the question, is it ethical? Is it okay to uh, suggest gambling, another addiction, another potentially devastating addiction, uh, uh, you know, uh, to cure another devastating addiction? And the theory there would be, well, it's, you know, if such a program exists, what would we call this? We would call this harm reduction. So if it does actually reduce harm, yes, it's ethical. It depends on your goal. If your goal is abstinence, then it's not going to meet your goal because you're just tra trading one addiction for another. But if you're wanting to say, okay, this person has an addiction, they're not ready to stop or they're not able to stop yet, but we want to keep them uh, contained. And, and if we can notch the damage down one little bit, uh, then uh, that's better than nothing. That's better than nothing because then they'll go out and use and potentially die and lose everything. So um, harm reduction is, uh, uh, I mean, this is an extreme version of harm reduction. I don't, like I said, I don't even know if it, it exists, but the more common ones are methadone or suboxone or sublocate or fentanyl or not actually fentanyl, but um, what we call safe supply um, opiates uh, that we use to, to uh, have the person, uh, um, they're still addicted. We're not really changing the addiction, but we want them to use the safer um, amount of that in a potentially less addictive form instead of injection, smoking, uh, uh, snorting to pill form that's less addictive. Uh, uh, it's, it's still addictive, but less so. That's harm reduction. We're reducing the harm. So uh, is this an, is it ethical? If that is the goal to just make the person safe, sure, it's ethical. If you want to have the person be abstinent, ultimately walk away, then this is, is this would be a transitional period, but not the final point. You want the person actually to stop the gambling and the cocaine and the marijuana. Don't go on to the marijuana maintenance program and the uh, don't go on to the sugar maintenance program. I'll eat instead. I mean, I've seen literally I've seen people uh, go from heroin addiction uh, and then die. Literally, they get clean, die literally eight years later from stroke and obesity uh, and uh, well, obesity related illnesses like stroke and heart attack because they were eating a tub of ice cream a night with their TV show. I mean, it's it was reducing harm. We gave them the 10 years, but ultimately they still died. So, uh, you know, it, it, here's the goal of basically abstinence versus uh, uh, moderation or harm reduction. They they are all a platform and uh, it depends on where you are and where you want to be um, uh, and uh, basically what your treatment program will support.